Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort, Marina, Lake Tandy, Como. Going to do one cast today. Today's Sunday, the 29th of January. So the month's almost gone. They're not running any water. There's a little bit of breeze down here. Uh, not much movement in the water. I'm going to try throwing a jig and float. It's a, it's a, um, actually it's a very worn jig. It's a 1 1 25th. It's orange head, sculpin' and ginger. I've already got it wet. It's got a tied on 6x tippet. And that's tied to this three pound line about 18 inches above the, the jig. And I've got it set about five, five feet or so under a float. See some midges flying around, but nothing on the surface. There's a little bit of movement to my float. Not much. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give the float a little bit of a, a twitch every once in a while to make that jig move. And I'm gonna let it sit there for a second. I'm gonna move it again. Let it sit there a second. Notice I'm keeping my rod tip real low to the water. Because I want a pretty straight line from my rod tip to the float in case I get a bite. I got my rod pointed out towards the float too. Just kind of ready to set the hook if anything happens with that float. Another midge came up out of the water right there next to the float. Tippet's helping me watch the float, aren't you? Don't distract me. There was a time he'd be playing with my line, which was not good, because a lot of time he'd clip it. Doesn't look good. Not on that cast. Now if I were to keep fishing, I would move this a foot or two deeper. Um, and then if that didn't work, I'd, I'd move it a foot or two shallower. I'd put it at two feet or three feet until I found where the depth of the fish were uh, and or change color jigs, came, change size jigs, make it a little bit bigger. Put on a micro jig, maybe a zebra midge. Uh, just find out what they're eating. But that's that's pretty much the rig I want. That 6x tippet and a real small fly or jig. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.